we are so lucky to have assembled here for you and for our community 70 works by Van Gogh from all over the world. It's been already called the Van Gogh Show in a Generation. My name is Salvador Salor Pons. I am the director of the Detroit Institute of Arts. We are the only venue in the United States in which this exhibition will happen. And also, we are the first museum in America to collect a painting by Van Gogh, the first civic museum. And we felt that it was important for, for us to tell this story. So we want everybody to know how the story is told and why the DI was the first one. I'm Jill Shaw. I'm the curator of the Van Gogh in America exhibition that will open here October 2nd. It's absolutely remarkable that the DIA was the first public museum in the United States to purchase a work by Van Gogh. The core of the exhibition is the DIA's first purchase in 1922. It's thrilling that we can celebrate the cent centenary of, of this historic acquisition. I'm here with Eugene Van Gogh, the great grandniece of Vincent Van Gogh at the Detroit Institute of Arts. Eugene, what does it mean for you to be here? I feel very honored uh, to be here. Of course, there are a couple of paintings from the Van Gogh Museum, from Amsterdam, they are here. But I also made a small contribution to the audio tour uh, that, is, that comes with this uh, exhibition. So when I cooperated with that, Jill Shaw, she said, oh, don't you want to come here? So I feel very honored and I'm enjoying myself enormously. Now you were saying you've grown up with this. Yes. Van Gogh's in your home and your grandfather's. Mm -hmm. what, what was that like? Uh, it was just part of ordinary day life. Um, they were, we, we had three paintings in our house, not the very famous ones, but some minor ones. Uh, but they were in the living room and I think one in the hallway and uh, they were there and my grandfather's house, it was full of, of paintings. For instance, he had the potato eaters. Uh, they hung in his dining room and the flowering um, blossom trees were in his living room. And uh, so it went on and on and on. So they, they were just there, even though we don't have them, the paintings in our house anymore. I don't have the sunflowers over my couch, but they're in the museum and, and it's so nice that people from all over the world get a chance to visit the museum and see all the beautiful paintings. And they get, the paintings give so much joy and, and uh, people enjoy it so much. If Vincent could visit the DIA today and in the fall when this exhibition opens, I think he would just be blown away. I think perhaps a tear or two would come to his eye. I think he, I think he always wanted this during his life, but he didn't see it. And so for him to see the remarkable admiration that all of us have for his work, I think he would, he would be speechless. Through his art, we connect with things that are beyond the world, I would say. 